Hi guys! Hello! Welcome to this week's Find Out Friday! Ooh, another one! Woo! It's the weekend! Yes. <laughs> so today we've got two questions for you. One coming off Jamie and he wants to know what appliances do we include in our properties? So I think this will differ if we're planning on renting or if we're planning on selling. In a rental, I put the basics in. The more appliances you've got, the more appliances you're responsible for. And if they break, you have to pay for them. You yeah, you have to maintain them. Yeah. Do you really want that? I do put cookers in. Um because <laughs> like otherwise you've got that awful gap in between. I'm sorry, I was gonna laugh I'm laughing at that and I'm thinking, why am I laughing at a cooker? Yeah, because so I was thinking of integral cookers. I, I had visions of you not putting a hole in and a hole in the kitchen top then. Yeah, just, sorry, have, just yeah, have a hole no, in the I, kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> a freestanding cook of that. <laughs> yeah, because um, you know them like awful, horrible. They look like like cheap, um, yeah, them cheap horrible things. But um, yeah, so I do put ovens in. <laughs> I don't even make all of my appliances, but no. <laughs> What's going on? I just got this vision of that when you said that. I was thinking, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. go on. I, I spoiled it. No, it's all good. <laughs> so yeah, I do put a cook in it and I do put a hob in. But I don't really put anything else. I don't put fridges. I don't put freezers. I have had a property before where there was an integrated dishwasher already, then and, and an integrated fridge freezer actually. But I gifted it to my tenants, so if it broke, they'd have to fix it rather than me being liable for it. So if it's already got them things and you're planning on renting it, that's a way of getting out of you being liable. But as a rule, I don't put that them in my property if I'm renting. If I've got to buy them, no. If we're selling, on the other hand, we like to, well, it depends again if you're planning on really pushing the market or if you just want average. If you want average, I, I wouldn't really bother. But if you're pushing it like we do, we have included, haven't we? We've included a fridge, a freezer, a wine cooler, washing machine. Have we got a washing machine in there as Integral well? Bloody hell, yeah, we are pushing yeah, the board yeah. out. So <laughs> that's because we want about 15 grand more than, than the market value. So we are trying to do them. So depends on your budget, it depends on your strategy, buy to let, put as little in as possible, otherwise you're responsible, and then a flip depends on where you position yourself in the market, and yeah. because The other thing help. that um, is good to know as well, we're putting in um, electric hobs now more than gas, for two reasons, A, it's a little bit safer, and B, it doesn't create as much condensation as well with gas and the fumes and so on. I never knew so, that. Yeah, yeah. So gas, um, yeah, we don't tend to put gas in rentals anymore. It's always electric. Mm. So bear that in mind. It's worth considering. And, of course, if you've got a cooker hood, yet sometimes you can't extract it. So you have a charcoal filter in them. But it's always good to make sure. I know it's not an appliance, but have an extractor fan as well to suck out you know, the smells and so on, the condensation when it's cooking, the steam and that. So, there you go. Brilliant. And our next question from Priscilla. She wants to know, do we furnish our properties? Okay. I will let you talk about the flip side. Again, rental side, I'm going to say no, because they bring their own stuff. Mm. It gets ruined. You're liable. It's no point. If it was like a HMO like that's obviously different or if it was a holiday let that's different but for your standard buy to lets i put no furniture in i have started putting curtain poles in because the mess that your tenants will make on your brand newly plastered walls trying to put their own curtain poles up isn't worth the effort so <laughs> i put uh yeah i put curtain poles up in a rental and that's about it but you've you put furniture in your yeah your we ones, did a property you? not so long ago high-end prop flip property and what we decided to do was to showcase it so we furnished all of the lounge and the kitchen and the bathroom or well basically all the ground floor with nice modern uh, furniture we put blinds on the windows uh, curtains uh, mats down we did ornaments we did it really really and then we had an open day and honestly the react you know the reaction was superb everybody came in they fell in love with it just like when you go to see a typical new show house uh, on a on a new site with barrett's or something yeah we did that and we sold the property instantly over and over and over again on that day had we not done that 
it would have been a different story, I'm sure. You know, we would have sold it, no doubt, but we wouldn't have had that reaction that we had. And it's the same when you go to show house, it looks gorgeous, but imagine it then when you, if you've ever bought a new house, when it's empty, the house inside looks totally different. So would you, would I furnish it? If you can afford to, and you're gonna do it on a regular basis, and maybe you can store the furniture somewhere, or you can even try and sell it with the person who buys the house, then go for it, definitely. It's a bit of a hassle, I gotta be honest, because you've gotta get all the furniture there, and then you've gotta take it all out if you don't sell it. A um, bit of hassle, but it can be worth, definitely be worthwhile. But I wouldn't do the whole house like they do in show houses, just the ground floor. You can go to a staging company, but they do charge a couple of grand usually to do it for you, where you kind of rent it off them and they make it look pretty. I haven't bothered and I've managed to sell them, but again, where are you situated on the marketplace? Are you after way more and you need that extra wow than you might want to? If you're just after like the normal market price, then you probably won't need to. So where are you situated? And again, will it will it add value? Will it help it sell quickly? And if that's the case, then yeah, and that, be what, worth it. What, yeah, what we did, what we did at that, that occasion as well, we had an open day. So everybody came on the same day and it was, yeah, it just really blew me away. I've got to be honest, the, the reaction was superb. So I think we maybe we should do that a bit more if we can. Right, let's do it then. We'll keep it posted. We've got a couple of flips on the go for ourselves yeah. at the minute. So you will see. Do okay. we do it? Do we not? Let's find out. I haven't got a clue yet. <laughs> see what happens. Right, that's it for today, folks. So have yourselves an amazing weekend. Don't forget to subscribe to our email list to get these uh, tidy tips straight to, your, straight to your, your phones, your laptops, whatever you've decided to go on. And you can you can send us questions as well then. Yeah, so. yeah. if you have got any questions, guys, please fire them across and we will get them answered for you next time. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Ciao for now. Bye.